<laughs> yeah, man, I do it for the fam. Trying to put food on my table, going ham. PYT says she knows who I am. Browse on fleek, she'll do it for the gram. Yo, what's going on, guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to install custom themes in C Sharp. So it's pretty straightforward, but there is two ways to do it. So if you haven't already made a program, you want to go ahead and open up Visual Studios. I'm going to just create a new project and it doesn't really matter what you call it. I'm just going to call it YouTube Theme Test. Alright, so once you're in your Form 1, um, you want to resize your application because in some themes it doesn't actually let you resize it. So, yep, once you've got it sized up, uh, we can go on to the next step. Alright, so after you've resized it, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add two class files. So, um, how you do that is you want to go into your Solution Explorer. If that doesn't show up, you want to go to View and Solution Explorer right there, or you can press uh, Control Alt L. Um, so, after you are in your Solution Explorer, you want to go ahead and click Add, and you can either go to cla uh, Class at the bottom or New Item and uh, choose it right there. So, the first class we're gonna call uh, we're gonna call it theme base. Okay, and we're actually gonna add another class. So we're gonna call that one theme. So theme. Okay, so after we've created those two class files, we're gonna go ahead and double click on themebase.cs, and it's gonna be completely empty. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our theme uh, theme base. Okay, so um, these links will be in the description, but pretty much all the themes that I use are made by this guy, um, Aeon Hacks. Aeon Hacks. Uh, I can't really speak today. So um, for for whatever theme you're going to be using, there's going to be a different base. So say if you're using ABC theme, um, it might use um, version 1.5.2 base um, but if you're using you know fucking whatever uh, water bottle theme it might use 1.5.4 so how we check what theme it's using if we just go onto this prime theme um, it should say right here so if we go to the class prime theme and then that little thing and then it will say 1.5.2 so that's basically what version of base it's going to be using. So 152 is obviously 1.5.2. And vice versa, if it says 154, that's 1.5.4. So, um, so there's he's got quite a lot of bases, but we're just going to be... Um, actually, what, what theme is this? So this is 152, so we need to find um, his theme base 1.5.2. So there it is. We'll click on that, and then we need to copy all this, all this stuff in here, and then so we'll go ahead and copy it, and then we're going to go back to our um, Visual Studio's project, and we're going to go ahead and paste it. Now you shouldn't get any errors, um, but if you d if you do get some errors, make sure you've got these references added at the top, um, and they have to be his references, not some random re references. Okay, so after we've got our theme base, we're going to go over to theme, and then we're going to be doing the same, but um, obviously with a theme. So once you've found a theme which goes with your base, or once you've found um, you know a base that goes with your theme, um, you want to go ahead and paste your theme in here. Now, like I said, um, you shouldn't get any errors, but if you do. Um, you know, just make sure you've got the references added, and if you're still getting an error, try a new theme. Um, so, yeah, so what you want to do now is you want to go back to your Form 1 design. Now, obviously, um, well, not obviously, but as you can see, nothing's showing up, so we haven't got all our new items. So, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just click Start and just debug it, and then it'll come up and um, all that, and then when when you quit out of the program you'll have your uh, theme so go ahead and put the theme on here and there you go 
and like I said in the beginning of the video, you can't resize this, so if I did like a bunch of work on it and then, you know, wanted to resize it, you know, I'm kind of screwed, um, because you can't, uh, you know, 709, it doesn't resize that either, so, um, <coughs> excuse me, so yeah, alright, so that's the first way to do it, that's the first um, way on how to, um, you know, add a theme. Now the second way, um, just go back, alright, there we go, to our normal form. So the, th the second way, we don't actually need this theme file, we're just going to be um, using the base for the theme. So that might not make much sense, but I'll try and explain it more. So, um, so we're using the base, um, the base, the theme base, and then we're using a theme, and then the theme obviously like goes with the base. So, um, what some other people have done, they've just put the theme inside the base. In the, they put the theme inside the theme base. I can't fucking speak today. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is uh, this Chrome theme. I'm pretty sure this is a theme inside a theme base. So you want to copy all this crap and then we want to put it where our theme base was and hopefully we don't get any errors. Okay, so we haven't got any errors which is always a good thing. So go back to our design and like we did last time, just start it up, quit the program and then there you go. You've got your Chrome form. I'm not actually going to add that. I'm going to. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, resize it. Chrome form. Where is it? There it is. Chrome form. Um, and then, like, you've got um, like tab, tab control. This is actually one that I'm using in a current project with my friend. So, yeah, I would recommend using this. It looks pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, that's how to install your own themes um, in C Sharp. I hope uh, you understood what I was saying. I am not very good at explaining stuff, but I hope you understood everything that I was trying to explain. Um, if this uh, tutorial helped you in any way, uh, please leave a like rating or a comment if you are having any issues, and I will try and you know get back to you. Even though I'm not very um, active at uploading videos, I will reply to your comments. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and peace.